My question is, Mr. k i l s o n p o n what was the letter you sent to my uncle about? Because during the first time he rejected uh, to return to Phnom Penh, and less all the people were allowed to return to Phnom Penh. And secondly, why did Mr. Chow s a o ask uh, his driver to return and look for uh, the driver's family? And that uh, who, why he asked uh, his driver not to be involved uh, with him again, and why Mr. Chow s a o disappeared ever since. If Mr. k i l s o n p o n knows where Mr. Chow s a o uh, died or disappeared, if so, can Mr. k i l s o n p o n tell me, please? Uh, where he could have disappeared or died, so that we can find the place where he could have died, and where we can hold a traditional ritual ceremony. The president, uh, Mr. c h a o n i you asked uh, the questions, but the questions uh, were rather long already. But we would like to make sure that uh, one question is put at a time. And now we understand that Mr. k i l s o n p o n has listened to the questions, and we would like to hand the floor over to him to respond. Mr. k i l s o n p o n thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning to everyone in this courtroom. My apologies. Uh, apology. Uh, good morning to every fellow Cambodian citizen, and good morning to you, Mr. c h a o n i Allow me to inform you that. I used to know Mr. c h a o s a o during the 1960s. He was the president of a bank, the National Credit Bank. I understand your feeling, your suffering, and how your family could have felt by trying to find out about your uncle's whereabout and information and his fate. And you also emphasize that if Mr. c h a o s a o uh, 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 were a uh, passed away, you would like to bring his remains for Buddhist ritual ceremony. Unfortunately, I have no information at all. About the fate of your uncle, and I did not have any information about him during the Democratic Cambodia. And you said uh, somebody told you that I wrote uh, letters to your uncle. Please be confirmed. Please uh, understand that I didn't do that. I never written such letters. There was no soldier 
under my order or command so that I could send a letter to someone like you said and as you already are aware I was compelled to flee Phnom Penh I had to leave behind my sick mother who had uh, been staying with me all along I had to leave behind my younger siblings who had uh, been supported by me since uh, 1967 from then on your uncle and I myself uh, never had the opportunity to meet one another again so in conclusion there was or there is no means for me to send any letter to your uncle on top of that it was not possible that it was my intention to look for your uncle or to recall him to return to Phnom Penh today I may wish to also tell you that I fully appreciate the sufferings you and your family could have had we i fully understand that you have the sympathy with or toward your uncle and for this reason i would like to take the this opportunity to talk to you in person so that you understand my heart i am talking this from the bottom of my heart so that everything is clear and that your mind is clear i feel sorry that uh, there is no way i can help you to entertain your request uh, or to answer to your uh, request and i hope you understand uh, me and uh, my situation that's all. I thank you.